Uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! G'day grubs, welcome to North America. That's right, I've been running North America for my streams of late because at that time of day when I'm up, uh, the Asia server generally isn't. I live in Australia and we're down the very bottom of the world and we get uh, a remarkably early start compared to the rest of you grommets. So today, I'm going to show you a game from North America. Now, this is not the game. It's the game after this. And it's all about how some servers have what you would consider a set meta. And they tend to be unanimous around the world. The next game is going to be on Castilla. And if you're on the stream, watching the stream, you will know exactly the game I'm talking about. But this is the kind of thing that happens to me all the time on North America. Uh, as Bitter Blossom, one of the YouTube grubs, said on the stream, North America stands for not awake. There are so many moments on this server where the guys just aren't loading in. You get like two guys that won't turn up for a couple of minutes and then they'll either show up or they'll just start yelling at the team and it's really weird and the meta here is just really really weird. Now it's not like Europe where there are two defined metas. Uh, Europe combined servers uh it was russia the ru server and the european server combined when wargaming shifted hqs from minsk to vilnius uh for blitz and because of that there is a real argument being made on the european server as to what the meta is right but that's not the case on north america north america just doesn't really seem to give a shit excuse the language they just don't seem to care that much about the meta i'm in a mouse the meta here pretty much universally around the world is mediums go the far corner heavies go the inside rail get some map control profit i'm the tip of the spear no one on my entire team made it past me and i'm in like the slowest tank on the entire team by a mile two mediums neither of whom attempted the far corner they instead just kind of started late rolled into the td spots and went hey bro how you going what's going on how you feeling uh it's more a vibe north america isn't a meta it's a vibe and the vibe today from this team would appear to be i don't feel like participating i feel like i should just be hanging out with my wang out and talking to my buddies and that's what they're doing so kudos to them now i'm not saying that it's a terrible server. I'm not saying that people don't know how to play. I'm just saying the meta on North America seems to be so incredibly random and just like dependent on which way the wind's blowing or where the sun is, if there's a, you know, a solar eclipse going on or the equinox is happening and we're getting a bit of pagan druid action. Then we'll go to town or whatever, you know? So I'm a mouse. I get left. Whatever. Cool, cool, cool. The next game was the culmination of me going, you know what? I don't know what the meta is. So instead of, like, I did 3k there and had 4,500 damage blocked, right? And no one got to anywhere near me. The 50M, the 121, they never left. I, I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to roll heavies. Because if I'm rolling heavies, then at least I can carry when the team falls to bits. Whereas if I'm rolling lights, it's harder because everyone's dead. So I took an E75 and I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to support my medium. My medium was like, I don't know. What am I going to do? Should I go? I don't know. Ah, it's hard to blame him. T54E1, not the world's most medium medium. Anyway... I trundled up here and I'm like, oh, surprise these grubs. They've got two meds. They've got two meds. I will roll my massively armored German heavy tank down the medium line and teach them about the punishing side scraping E75's ability to dish out huge doses of German love and keep on ticking. And then my medium didn't go up the top. So I knew I was in trouble straight away. I've got no one protecting the right flank. And there's an STG and a Pershing somewhere around here. Now, you're not going to see them immediately. Well, you'll see one of them. There's a T95. There's a T95 there. There's a Borsig on my right. 
there's a Pershing over there. And we don't know where the STG is. And this, my friends, is the North American experience writ large. This is democracy manifest, as that famous Australian philosopher once said. All I'm trying to do is eat a succulent Chinese meal. Look at it. There's a T-95 trying to push. There's a Borsig that has pushed the hill alone. Because the STG sure as hell isn't up there. There's the STG. The STG is sniping where I'd expect the Borsig to be. And he's firing HG at me. I am often confused by things in life. I'm just a fat Aussie bloke doing his best. There are no mediums on the top of the Castilla Hill. There's a Borsig. The medium on my team has pushed the left side here. The two mediums on the red team are in the TD position and I do not know what to call that position the Pershing was in. He went to the island. He went to the island and just sat there. And I... And the Borsig is now pushing me. The Borsig is pushing an E-75. I... I... I don't know. I just don't know. I don't understand. The T-95, I know he's coming. I know he's on the way. I should have used... Bremo. I should have used HE. I was so stunned that the Borsig was pushing me and then the 95 bounces and the STG is still there. The STG, again, has moved up to what must be a regular North American server point of interest. Is there like a... He's still firing HE at, at me and really, really just pissing me off. Um, is there something that happens on that island? Is it famous for something? There's two tier 8 mediums just drive to that. That's And they did it intentionally. The NA server is absolutely hog wild. I do not understand. I'm going to miss this. Yeah, that's right. I should be dead. Well, maybe not. Because there's just nothing normal that happens here. And he's going to fire AP at me and miss. And I don't know. And he's still firing HE. And I want to kill this STG more than I've wanted anything in my life. He is, he has been firing HE at me for three minutes and I've had enough. I am not interested anymore and I just want him to die. Thank you very much. That was the T-34H, the tier eight heavy premium who also went down this track with me and did very, very well. North America, take a bow. You are a stunning indictment on humanity. I do not understand how this server keeps going. I do not understand. I've never had a server with more people just not be there when the game starts. Just not be there or just drive to the most random points on the map for no real reason that I can figure out and then just die there. And oftentimes after they die, they will tell you about it and you're an idiot and you're a noob and turn off your game chat because they're not going to stop. I felt bad for this E-75. Like, really, we should have lost this game. We should have lost this game. There should have been a Borsig and a T-95 in good TD positions, farming me up while I was perma-spotted because no one else went top by a Pershing and an STG. Instead, I just sat here in the cap circle and refused to move. I was like, I am not losing this. I don't trust any of you. I don't care how many hit points you've got left. I do not believe that you know what you're doing. I have no faith in your ability to finish off that E75. I am out. And that's how we won. They went there. They got the job done. Good on your T-34. Good on your Yo. But I had no faith. None. My faith was lost long ago on this stream. Long, long ago. I hope you enjoy uh, a little bit of a lighter side of the World of Tanks. Love train, remember to like the videos, subscribe, and if you're playing NA, 
Good God, I admire you. What a human. What a hell of a human you are.